Hi, I'm Hayden, and we're here at NI Connect 2024 uh, here in Austin, Texas. And I just wanted to do um, a, you know, a quick demo and share some new capability we have for radar system level validation uh, here in PXI. So, you know, here today we have our radar you know, system test. We have our um, vector signal transceiver and, and our RTG. So here, why don't you come in and let's take a look at the hardware here. Um, so we have a PXI chassis. Um, this is a embedded controller that's running our RTG software, and we have two vector signal transceivers. You'll note that these are our third generation vector signal transceivers, the PXIE 5842. They have two gigahertz of instantaneous bandwidth. They're tunable up to 26 and a half gigahertz. And, and I have two of them in the chassis here. And the reason I have two is because one of these is acting as a radar. So I don't actually have a real radar here. Um, and then one of them is acting as a radar target generator. And so this, you'll see I have them connected with two cables. One of them is transmitting a, a radar pulse into this. And then we're, we're applying a target technique um, for testing. And then we'll, we'll, we'll transmit the response. And then we'll look at the you know, output of that you know, RTG target on this uh, vector signal transceiver. And so, so now that you kind of have a, a good understanding of the hardware, um, we, we, we kind of, we have our PXI chassis here connected up to a couple monitors. Um, and so there's two pieces of the software over here is the, the kind of radar emulator. It's sort of my, I'm emulating a radar. This is more for demonstration purposes. It's not really the, uh, we're not radar manufacturers at, at National Instruments, um, but we do have a, uh, um, the RTG software. So let's take a look at that software here. So in this uh, GUI for controlling the RTG, you can see here I have the ability to enable up to four targets. And so I can kind of come in here and I'm setting one at 30 microseconds, one at, and I'm adding uh, Doppler shift and attenuation. So I, I can enable several of these. Let's go ahead and start the, the RTG and send the target, you know, Con, you know, configuration to the, um, the vector signal transceiver. And over here on this screen, you can see what we're looking at here is kind of a range Doppler map, if you will, in, in radar in that we have time on the X axis and frequency on the Y axis. And so over there, I set four targets and you can see I have one, two, three, four targets, but you only see three here in the time domain. That's because I have two overlapping, but they're at different frequencies here. And so the, and they're at different Dopplers and these are static targets. And so the, the ability to quickly get targets on, on a radar and be able to, um, you know, set them statically is one thing, but we can, you know, oftentimes planes don't just sit still. Um, they, especially if they have Doppler on them, they're going to be moving. So we can go into list mode here and I can actually, um, you know, stop the RTG. I'm going to restart it and I'm going to do what's called a range gate pull off technique. So before I run this here, come move, move over here to take a look at the, um, the Doppler radar. And, and we'll, um, we'll start that and you'll see that quickly that these two targets here were statically sitting there and these two moved inward. So using this list mode feature within um, radar target generator, um, we can do things like moving targets. Um, so I'll run that one more time. And so one thing I, I, I do wanna emphasize with the new uh, edition of the, the vector signal transceiver, the 5842, we have two gigahertz of bandwidth. And on this particular radar emulator, we're not just generating a single pulse, we're actually doing a frequency hopping radar. And so you'll notice that these don't look like they're moving around because we're doing frequency estimation um, to tune, you know, to, to apply the target technique at the right frequency. The, uh, if I go over here to the spectrum view of this, you can actually see these kind of pulses hopping around. So we're actually moving from 8.1 to 8.8 .8 to 7.2. So this radar is moving around very agilely in frequency, um, but the RTG doesn't care because uh, it's able to estimate that and apply the right calibration corrections in real time. So the last thing I'm gonna show you here is, um, is, is, is another list mode technique where, where we're gonna do a, an emulation of a, um, of a surveillance radar. And so you saw I had those, those four targets or three targets here. And they're showing up on this surveillance radar as kind of like targets at all azimuths. That's not particularly realistic. That's because we have a static time delay. We can actually do profiles that will emulate realistic looking targets in this, in this radar. So let me go ahead and load that up. So surveillance radar profile here. And as I run that, you'll, you'll watch this as, you know, kind of our 
scan rate you know, comes around and we're starting to detect individual targets um, versus these kind of donuts, those were static range targets. And this is all enabled by our, our rapid hardware timed list mode triggering of targets. So we're, we're updating that target profile really rapidly in real time. And so that allows us to kind of test multiple different modes of the radar, whether we have crossing targets or multiple targets or electronic warfare techniques, a lot of different scenarios that you can test more in the lab before you get onto an open air range. And so if you want to learn more about the, this solution or other NI solutions around radar, um, go to ni.com radar. I appreciate your time.